off here. Um, if you're doing it for fish, you probably need to cut a little bit bigger hole out. If you cut out all the way to the ends on the barrel, it'll start going this number. So I always try to keep my either keep it small or I leave a center center strip in there and cut two of them. Okay, now you can see the water is starting to uh, dribble here, and the water is about halfway here. So our cycle, even though it's a fast cycle time, is cycling, cycling correctly. Um, I have one system at home that I cycle every hour, and that's it. And, and you can't tell the difference in the plants. But that pump goes on and off. So what happens when you turn things on and off? They die. Okay, so it'll have a limited life in that pump. Even though it's not a mechanical pump, it's the, you know, it's the electro drive. Do you get or like the, the mosquitoes and things? The water no. Mm -hmm. the water no. A lot of times, if I start getting a mosquito problem, I'll throw one large goldfish in here. He keeps all of the algae off of the inside. I know he's lonely, but that's why. And uh, there, there'll be no, there'll be no uh, algae on the inside here. Um, and and in the beds, I mean, they can't grow in the beds, though so you have no mosquito problem. So the bigger system, we will actually take the 55-gallon barrels, we'll cut them in half, and we'll lay them open, just like you saw in the in the in the picture. Um, and we're going to construct one system from start to finish. And it's an all-day deal. Um, you know. How do you determine system size? I'm sorry? System size, like three barrel, six barrel, whatever. Um, I call this a two banger, and I call this the six one a six banger, although I usually build eights. How do you figure though? Cause How do I figure the size? Two of us, so we don't you could, well, maybe if there's just two of you, I'd still grow a six because you can grow some ornamentals in it. I mean, if you, you know. Just grow some flowers. Yeah, I just grow some flowers in it. Uh, we're, I'm going to show you how to stick the tubes in there, and you can take cuttings. You can sell the cuttings, um, like at market days or, or whatever. I mean, th this thing could be an income-producing thing. If you're going to produce surplus, I would I would produce a surplus and give it to your neighbors. Make them hate you. Make them not answer the door when you beat on the door. Hey, bring me squash again. You know. <laughs> how uh, expandable is it? Can you can you take uh, a two banger to a six banger? Trading whatever for whatever. Yes, yes, we could we could make this system six long. If we're going to do that, I would have to go to at least a hundred gallon tank. You can connect two fifty fives. If you look on the back side of this, um, it doesn't quite have room for a fifty five, but um, another fifty five. But we could probably go a thirty and connect them. And you probably need you need to go to a larger dump system. Usually we use a 55 gallon barrel dump system for a 6 or an 8 um, banger. So I got to do some measuring. It looks like a 6 is all it's going to fit here. But, um, do you have an external water source? I mean, can, uh, is this all reach? No, no. Okay. It's just, you know, I filled, it, I filled it up with a hose. Actually, it was about right here when I came up and this was had just finished cycling. So it used 6 or 8 gallons over two weeks. I see a drip back there. I was messing with the pipe. I probably messed something around. Okay, now you can see it's fixing to start initiating again. And this is my manure tea. Um, I brewed this uh, from rabbit manure. And I put a half a gallon per week in it. And it didn't get in for two weeks, and you can tell it just really suffered. <laughs> so. so how do you how do you brew that? I take I have a five gallon bucket with a hole in one corner, yeah. and a and a simple um, uh, funnel. And what I did was I I have a dog cage, and I hung the five gallon up there and stuck a milk carton underneath and I did the height where the funnel would fit down in there and then it fit over top of the funnel and I just poured a gallon of water through that system and it made this. Across the bottom of your rabbit cages or? Well, no. Yeah, I just clean it up from the bottom of the rabbit cages and put it in that five gallon bucket. Yeah, and then you just pour a gallon of water in there. It's really hard to burn anything with rabbit filling. Yeah, yeah, that's very, very hard to do it. You could make it with horse manure and, and we'll sit around here in a minute and I'll show you our compost piles and the square foot garden. So does anybody have any, any other questions? I know you got a million questions, but you're afraid to ask, ask them.
it looks like it looks complicated, doesn't it? No, it looks so achievable, but it's kind yeah, of scary. it is. It is. <laughs> I'm thinking of the same thing. Like I have. Yeah, it does. So simple as that. Do you sell them or you just show people Actually, how to build I them? I, I tell you what, if anybody wants one and they don't want to build it, I have a guy living out in my place. He'll build it for a hundred bucks plus the cost of the materials. That's because it takes him it takes him, you know, a little over half a day to build it and then we gotta haul it in town. So hundred bucks is not unreasonable to build a system. Yeah. I mean it's just and, and and you can tell, I mean, these barrels are seriously used. I mean they were scooted around the floor of that of that uh, uh, car wash, and you can tell I, I recycle all of my. Uh, actually, I got this from a uh, building site. Uh, one of the plumbers, you know, they when a plumber dropped something, he didn't pick it up. Why? Why would he? Why would he bend over and pick up twenty five cents? So um, I use a lot of recyclable parts. Uh, this thing screws together, or you can if you got a nail gun, you can nail it, or you can hand hammer it. I personally like screws because every once in a while I take the thing apart and move it. Okay, let's go around and look at the compost. Yeah, it's very, very economical. Um, you can run it off solar, you can run it off wind. And if you don't care about the finish in there, um, the wind blows enough in most, most everywhere that you're going to get um, five or six cycles a day. That's oh, way funny. Oh, I got my place, the wind blows 40 miles an hour, dust to dawn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and why spend all that money for a windmill when you can build your own? Are you a welder? More mm -hmm. or less? A dauber? I'm a dauber. Yeah, that's all you got to be. Uh, I can show you how to build the pump itself, the pump that pumps the water for $6.25. And it's all hardware <laughs> store parts. Everything I do is, is, is something parts. you can go to the to Home Depot and get all the parts. That was the hardest thing to find that year was children's marbles. Yeah. Because <laughs> we needed the glass balls. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't find kids' marbles. Okay, we did a we did a compost class. What was it? Uh, was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago for 400 or for 100 kids. And... Uh, this, this was actually the first one we did. We did this about a month ago. And uh, and I see my, my in-resident gardener has been stealing out of our compost pile. This compost pile, when we started out, was like here. And uh, we are going to do another compost class. When we do, I'll bring in about 1,800 pounds of compost. Whatever we don't use for the class, which is about, we use maybe a quarter. Y'all are welcome to it. Bring five-gallon buckets, bring sacks, buckets. You have all the compost you want. It's mostly compost and horse manure. You tell that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. Um, this one has been filled up at least four times. It was up to here, and I can see the level is down to here now. So it's burning itself uh, up and making you know really good compost. This one, the kids built. Um, I see it's down to here now, and it was up to here and overflowing. I like sticking these pipes in. Um, it you can well actually you can stick a hand in it right now. You can feel it, it's a whole lot warmer. Uh, and, and these are real, real hard bins to build, you can tell. They are just four pallets, or actually the two bins are three pallets each, if you want to look at it that way. Um, yes, the pallets are going to rot in three or four years, so, you know, you pile them up when they end up rotting and, and kicking compost out and you have a barbecue, you know. Uh, anybody who's tried to take pallets apart knows as well as I do you can't do it. You might as well just get your saws all, long blade out, cut the things, plan on not using your table saw, and everything works great. Um, the kids built this and they actually fought over who was going to shovel horse poop out of a trailer. And the girls were my best shoveling crew. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, okay, now we got plenty of leaves. Got so this is the lasagna method and what we did was we put horse poop down. We put leaves down, we put horse poop, then we put hay, and then we, you know. So we just, horse poop was the main, that was the middle of the, of the lasagna. And you can tell this thing heats up pretty fast, and I don't know how much you guys have added. You guys have added a lot. Because it's going down to here, I can tell. Oh, I did all that. Yeah. So that's the idea. But I don't, I'm not a proponent of stirring your compost. Yes, you can do it. And yes, you can get compost a little faster. But uh, you got to remember, nitrogen comes in two forms. Gas, solid. There's a couple breakdowns in between those, but essentially gas, solid. So what happens when you stir it? Gas. So 
Uh, I like letting mine sit six to eight months a year, but uh, with our gardener here, it's never going to happen. <laughs> and and the easy way to do it is pop this pallet off and start shoveling from the bottom, you know, and cram some stuff back up, put the pallet back up, and keep on at it. I guess in theory you could probably cut these two boards out right here and just keep shoving from the bottom and you'd have a never ending supply of time. Okay? Anybody got any questions? Thank y'all. <laughs>